here on YouTube, Rich Gen X Elsewhere, and it is time for us to return to Gibbous, a Cthulhu adventure, and I need to do something real quick, because yeah, I've got, uh, my timer just popped up in a very odd place. It's been doing that lately. But anyhow, let us continue with Gibbous, a Cthulhu adventure. Now, if you remember last time, uh, Buzz had arrived in uh, Transylvania. And now we have uh, to do something. Now, we had a nice little talk with... Uh... Jumping conditions not adequate. No. Okay, how about here? Jumping conditions... Jumping in... Jumping in... Not adequate. Jumping in Okay. Jumping in dishes. Hmm. Jumping in What's this? Okay, so I can't leave this room. Can I? No. Okay. So... Oh, I can use the panel? What's this? Huh. Huh. Let's talk to this weirdo. Greetings, biped. Up to the left, then. Up to the right, then. Up to the middle, and back up to the right. Hello, kitty. What was that singing about? Oh, just directions to Grandma's house. I have bad, bad memory, but strong legs. Right. Tell me about your grandma. <laughs> Yeah. Grandma has very bad varicose veins. She does. All the doggies snap at them. They think they're sausages. <laughs> Lovely. What's your name, buddy? Hey, kitty cat. I'm Nelu. I have strong legs. You sure do. What's with all the planet stuff, Nelu? Ooh, I love my planets. You used to be an astromo. Astronomer. Astronomer? That's it. Then one day, big metal tube you walk at stars to hit me. Right in the head it did. Bonk! Baron let me move in here and play with planets. If I guard the gate. Hatches. Everywhere we go. Hatches. Now I guard the gate. Now I play with planets. Now I play with planets. Now I got the gate. Hmm. So, how do I open this gate, Nelu? Oh, I'm not allowed to tell little kitty cat. Baron says no one allowed. Only they look for it down there. Look for what? I don't know for sure. Big, big bat, I think. Big, mm -hmm. big bat. Sure. Uh-huh. What are you just saying? Up to the left, left. then, up, up to the to right, right then, up, up to, to the, the middle, middle and back, back to, to the right. right. Hello, kitty. Left, middle, right, middle. Okay. Okay. Okay, up to the left. Okay, so... Judging by that... Let's see. Up to the left.
to the middle, up to the left, up to the middle. Now we'll jump back to the panel. And then we go to the right. Up to Saturn. To Uranus. To Neptune. My cat would be scared of this shit. <laughs> oh, the cat I used to have. Jumping condition. something right Something about it. I should have done something. Let me speak to Nilu again. Up to, to the, the left, left then, up, up to, to the, the right, then up to the middle, and back up to the right. Hello, kitty. Up to the middle, or up to the left, up to the right, up to the middle. Uh, up to no wonder. <sighs> I screwed it up. Kitty would be so disappointed in me. You know, this is so full of water, I'm, I'm surprised that she's not splishing. Shaking her paws. Then up to the middle, then up to the right. I feel like a yacht, you know? Ok, 
Okay, and now we should be at the right one. And if I don't get this right, I will be a little bit miffed. He's very useful in this chapter. That did something. What did it do? I heard it do something. <gasps> Let's put the butt in. In your face, humans. I've been enjoying this, but I guess I'll be untying you two now. Please tell me what is going on here. All right, let's take it from the top. Yes. So this bozo walks in one night with a weird book and starts reading from it. Ah! Thus realizing he was singing the sequence to push the capstones in, thus yet again proving feline superiority. Anything you want to say, Buzz? Uh, I'm sorry for doubting you. Yeah. Uh, also, glad we finally found you, Peace. <sighs> well, if Father trusted you two, I guess I should too. Yeah. So, where is this Baron? It seems like him and his goons are about done with what they came to do here. Hmm. And they're heading over to Fishmouth. Oh, Ugh, great. Not again. Let's head down that hatch right now. And we might still catch him before they're off. Uh, after you, ladies. Uh-oh. Mm-mm. Looks like we're too late. The Baron's left already. And it yeah. seems he got what he was looking for. But what? Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. <sighs> Who's this Baron? Why were you looking for him? What is he after? Yeah. Baron Ferenci. Just one of the many names the Butcher goes by. Uh-oh. We're both looking at the same thing here. What do you think it is they've dug out of that rock there? <sighs> Looks like wings. Oh my god, that's just like in the legend. Precisely. You shall never dismiss local myths as complete nonsense. A huge pair of dragon wings. That's what they got away with. Yeah. Nothing we can do about it now, Carrier. No end to the work. Mm. Did you just call me Carrier? That seems to be your role, yes. Mm. Oh, again with this deterministic nonsense. That's a mighty big word there, buddy. <laughs> the book shows you to carry it, and there's nothing you can do about it. The other. Almstein is not like us. Yeah. You think, or you know? Neither. Mm. I believe. Okay. What does that make you? I'm a hunter of evils. Huh, like your dad, huh? He's more of a protector of the other. So everyone has their little role in this production, huh? What's kitties, then? I, uh... I don't want to speculate on that. Smart girl. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Was it you who installed the communications jammer? I was trying to sabotage the Baron. Oh. Much good did that do. You gave us quite the headache. Literally. Mm. Sorry, I guess. Dragon wings. Just yeah. like in the legend, but hey, I'm prepared to believe anything at this point. What does this guy need him for? They do call him the Butcher, so I can only assume the worst. Mm. Oh, right. No end to the work? What does that mean, Peace? How yeah. much of the book have you read? Uh, I read a bit of it once. It made Kitty start to talk. 
I was frankly too terrified to examine it since. Open it at the very last page. Oh boy. It, it's writing itself. The work is just another name for the Necronomicon. And it literally has no end. Yet. Yay. Yet? Nothing lasts forever, right? One can hope. So, wait a minute, does this mean... I don't know exactly what it means to be truthful. No one really does. Mm. What we do know is that it can change reality around it. And it might be controlled while doing so. Not by Buzz. How did you get past Blood and his DJ friend? Did you have to bust out some dope rhymes? Oh, <laughs> what? No, I'm stealthy. I don't think they even suspect what I've been going on underneath them. So what's our next... W wait a minute. M my phone's ringing. Uh-oh. We're deep underground. Everything's upside down around here. Dawn, is that you? Finally. Where the heck were you guys? I've been calling forever. Long story. The butcher was here, but he gave us the slip. We did find peace. She's here with us. Hold on, I'm putting you on speaker. Hello. Uh, yeah, hi. So I found what was hidden in Flamel's abode. Oh. The stabilizing element. Yeah, a piece of paper with one phrase written on it. What phrase? I have it right here. One sec. A terrible storm and three bells ringing throughout it shall awaken the beast. Uh-oh. A terrible storm. As freak temp as a Hurricane Herbert, if it's to be taken literally. Yeah. I seem to just nearly miss it every time I get somewhere. Until one day you won't. Three bells. There's a bell in this castle. I wonder if it has anything to do with this. And there was a bell above Flamel's place where I found this. So we look for a third one, right? If Awakening the Beast really is what we want. Good point. Know. Well, is it? Oh, that sounds exciting at least. I have enough excitement in my life already. Shall awaken the beast? Yeah, that part is a little unnerving. It is a little true. Yeah, I feel the same. It probably still needs to happen, right? Most likely, yes. Hmm. It probably does. Whatever that means. Great. <laughs> So this was the constant Barnabas told me about. The stabilizing element. If only we actually knew what that meant. The Necronomicon is ever-changing chaos. If Olmstein wrote it down, whatever this phrase describes, yeah. it will probably happen, for better or worse. This is all fine and dandy, but what do we do next? I'm convinced the butchers left the Fishmouth, with a pair of dragon wings in tow. Fishmouth. Their evil festival should be in full swing by now. <laughs> you and Kitty shouldn't be showing your faces here again. It's my turn to follow this butcher deep into fish with stinking guts. Not without looking like one of them creepy cultists, you're not. You need to see the voodoo gentleman about a disguise, Mr. Katype. The password is Fidelio. Tell him Kitty says hi. All right, kids. Head on over to my office. I'll meet you there. Once I'm done with the butcher. Oh boy. So we're going back to Fish Fishmith for the festival. Oh boy. Alright. I'd made my way to the part of town Buzz lived in. Just as wretched and unappealing as the rest of Darkham. But it was dawn, and that seemed to raise my spirits a little. It was time to look for the voodoo gentleman. And we are still without our shoes. Back in dark, I'm gonna find and talk to the voodoo fella about a cultist disguise. Password is Fidelio. Why am I looking at all this irrelevant stuff? Nothing here. Mm. I only used the mark. It's a one. whole lot of fish in there. Uh huh. Nah. 
It's closed. It should open pretty soon, though. Don't bet on it's it. It's closed. Hmm? Checked out the fishery next to Buzz's dorm, but it was closed. Should be opening soon. Interesting. Maybe it is something. <laughs> Yeesh. Fishmouth's own. Doesn't say so, but it's uh, obviously a fishery. Nothing. I got no interest in this kind of art. Not for... Yeah. What's up with this guy? Ugh. Oh, the blonde lady. It's a right glimmering dame sat down at that bench there. Park gate removed due to blasphemous activities in the area. Hop fence at own peril. We do not refund garments or pay for hospitalization. Mm. All alone in the rain. What say I leg over there and see what the deal is? Okay, well, first. Uh, I... Hey there. What's a nice girl like you doing in this part of town? Yeah. Charmer, huh? Not really. I try, but I get called out on it a lot. I'm <laughs> Don. I'm Margot. It's nice to meet you, Don. Hmm. Yeah, likewise. Got uh, business with the voodoo gentleman? Why do you ask? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a private investigator. I ask questions for a living. Sometimes I do it without even noticing. Just stop by to thank VG for, um, turning me on to a better path, I guess. Oh. Extra straight? No, just talk some sense into me. Let's just say I no longer want to murder my husband. Well, ex-husband now. And I got rid of my toxic lover. Ugh. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm sure you deserve a good guy for a change. I'm sure I do. So, what are you doing these days? I, uh, roll with a librarian kid with a magic evil book and a talking cat. Just trying to nab this psycho who wants to bring the world to its knees. Mm. You're friends with Buzz? Did he pull a fast one on me? Well, it was for the best in the end, so tell him I said thanks. You get around, Margot. <laughs> uh, things just happen. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Don. Hmm? What do you say once you're done with all that? You and me get a coffee. Hmm. I'd like that, Margot. Then it's a date. Catch you later, Don. Oh! Wait, uh, a how do we get in touch? I thought you said you were a detective. Smooth. See you when the world is saved, kid. <laughs> mm, the small dolls. Cute little voodoo dolls. They've been left out here and no one's stolen them, so it's probably wise just to leave them be. Yeah. No resonance whatsoever. And now the Baron Samedi. Hey, it's the very voodoo Baron Samedi. Yeah. He's a doll. Literally. Laura, Laura, Laura. Okay. It's a small, half open window in the door. Yeah. Warm light with. Morning. Password? Fidelio. Ah! Hello there. Greetings, traveler. Greetings. The voodoo gentleman, I presume. You presume correctly, sir. And you are? Katype. Don R. Katype. Friend of Buzz's. He was here a while ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's all right, I hope. Is the cat in the same predicament? Still a wisecracking nightmare. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. 
interesting interior design choices. Why, thanks for noticing. A little eclectic to be sure, but clients seem to appreciate it. Yeah, you travel a lot, don't you? I can see you've been hitting a lot of the gift shops. Oh no, I avoid those like the plague. Only authentic stuff for me. Shipping is a pain though, believe you me. <laughs> so, uh, what about this Olmstein character? Yeah. Buzz tells me you says he's a good friend of yours. Yes, yes, I did say that, didn't I? It's a weird, weird thing about Bob. What is? Well, everything. Has Bob ever gone by the nickname The Butcher? Oh, no, no. The Butcher? The Butcher's a horrible person, whoever he or she is. Care to uh, expand on that subject? Not much is known about The Butcher, even in my circle. He's rumored to be into god-awful, unnatural experiments with the dead. Ugh, horrible, horrible stuff. Bob can't be The Butcher, or at least I don't think so. What does he look like? What's his deal? Yeah. You probably won't believe me, but see here, it's strange. I've been friends with him for decades now, or at least I'm convinced I have. And yet, it's like one of those dreams where you see the person clearly in front of you, but yet when you wake, you can't for the life of you describe them. Oh, come on. I'm serious. Bob is, well, he's something else. He's the one person I can really say has changed me. I mean, in his presence, I always feel, um... Volatile? Uh, inconsistent? Vibrantly fluctuating? Inevitably equivocal? So we're just listing fancy words now. <laughs> have a picture of him? Is he on, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the social, uh... Media? I don't think I've ever seen Bob in a picture, and he's... He's undescribable. A uh, true mystery. Hmm. Not that you'd care, but none of that helped. Like, <laughs> at all. What can I tell you, Mr. Katype? Some people are just hermetical like that. Mm. I understand he is some kind of authority in occultism. Yeah. The extent of his knowledge is splendiferous. He knows a lot of stuff about a lot of stuff, right? But it's all... I can't put it into words. He's different, Bob is. Mm. Well, that went nowhere. I don't know. Getting on to something else. Yeah. Wait, before that, there's something about you. I get this feeling that you are somehow marked. All right, I'm impressed. Yeah, I, uh, I touched something called the, uh, Shining tra Trapeze... Tra trapeze... The Shining Trapezohedron! Yet, yet you stand here before me, so it's true. You have the Haunter's Mark. Forgive me to throw such a cliché at you, but you truly are chosen. Why, uh, thanks for noticing. Mom always said one day I'd show them all who Don Katype is. Of course, you know, with great dark powers comes Com great, great dark, dark responsibilities. responsibilities. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tenebris forces consuming and corrupting the mortal soul and all that. Not really a surprise, to be quite honest with you. Alright, let's find out. About the Haunter's Mark, what exactly does it do? It is supposed to turn its bearer into a receptor of sorts. Great. Now I'm a receptor. <laughs> a way of channeling past events that involved said object. The things we could learn about the world by employing its power. It boggles the mind. Hmm. Yeah. It does sound kind of useful. Kind of like a superpower. So, I'm not complaining. Not exactly a superpower. It's a dark gift. And it may come with great personal costs. Dark or not, I, uh, like gifts. I can, uh, make my hand glow on command, too. Yeah, that's pretty rad. Wait, about Bob. Let's, 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 let's not go there again. The more I think about him, the more confused I get. Mmm, <clears throat> fine. <laughs> So, so, how's the mood this going, going these days? days? You know, can't really, can't really play, play a possession here or first there. It's really picked up with all the weird cults running around lately. Yeah, gonna be digging into a lot of that soon. Well, let's talk about them.
I'm in the need of some small to attend the Fish Fish Festival. Think you can get out? The best! But whatever was this? You don't want to go there! Word of dispassionate advice. Don't. don't. Those are, those are bad, bad, bad people, <laughs> if people they be. I'm up to my neck in it. Can you get back out now? Yeah. So, so, can you help me the road? Road? I sure, I sure can. can. You're gonna need, need a out. fine piece of silk, a miniaturized sewing machine, machine, three tufts, tufts of recent research and chihuahua. Oh, okay. And anything else? A cemetery here, 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 take your liver, liver, fall, 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 what else? Uh, you, uh, know, you know those fish that kind of blow up into like, like spiky spears, spears every once in a while? What are they, what are they called? called? Puffer fish. Puffer fish? Yeah, yeah well, one, of one of those. No, no not, not over the roads. I just really, really always, always wanted, wanted one. one. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Male alligator being made when they have to have to be in pristine condition, condition otherwise, otherwise they're useless. useless. Oh, oh, and any kind of indie game developer DNA. Tears have historically proven to be the easiest to procure. Sure. Okay. okay, I've heard enough. enough. Don't you happen to have the actual article laying around somewhere? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Can, can I, I just, just uh, have, have it? No, no uh, fetch uh, quests, quests or anything? Hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? It was really appreciated last, last year's Supernatural Society Cosmo Ball, but, but I, I doubt, doubt it, it would hit as hard this year. It's just in the chest over there. there. Let, let me unlock, unlock it, for it for you. Thanks, voodoo gentlemen. You're, you're all right. No probs, Donatello. Please don't call me that. Well. So, how do I look? Appropriately stupid and scary, simultaneously. Alrighty then, thanks yeah. again. I'll be on my way. Whoa, whoa, hold on a minute. That's not enough to get you into the festival, dude. It isn't. What's wrong? Well, don't take this the wrong way, but your smell. Uh-oh. Got a problem with my ancient aromatic cologne? No, no, I mean, you don't stink! Oh, yeah, I knew that. But you need to stink to be let inside Fishmith during that unholy festival. Oh. Like a gym shorts and sock stew boiling on a dung fire? Quite the vivid imagery, but no, it's more specific than that. More in the vein of, I've had hundreds of rotting fish rubbed against these robes I'm wearing. The festival seems to be a very fish-themed thing. The locals are very particular with their social gatherings. Ah. So, rub a dead fish on it, huh? Shouldn't be too hard. I'm afraid that won't cut it, Don. It really needs to be a lot of rotten fish. All right, Mr. Voodoo. Good looking out. I'll try to think of something. Later. Take care now. And take care of Buzz, too, while you're at it. All right. Well, now we have a reason to go. All right. Close soon. I need to imbue these robes with the stench of lots and lots of dead fish somehow. Gotta love your job, you type. I should look around the neighborhood. Well, I know where we have to go. We're gonna head out. Oh, and Margo left. But until next time, <clears throat> we will save the game here. And next time, we're gonna get those uh, robes smelling like fish. I know where I'll have to do to that. And then we will move on, head to Fishmouth, I think, again. Now, thank you for watching, if you've watched the end, and I appreciate it if you've watched the end. This is Rich Kill here on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere. I invite you to subscribe to the channel and check out the rest of this playthrough, as well as some of the other playthroughs I've been working on. Uh, those include the Monkey Island franchise. I am on the last game in that, Tales of Monkey Island. I'm working my way through Call of Cthulhu, the 2018 release. Working my way, I do a bunch of runs through the game of Monstrum. I am working my way through Abduction from the same pe the same team that created, uh, same people that created the Mist franchise. I am working my way through Space the Space Quest franchise. I am currently on Space Quest 4, Roger Wilk and the Time Rippers. However, the game seems to think I'm in Space Quest 10, Latex Babes of Estros. <laughs> 
Also working my way through the Doom franchise, following the same protagonist, Doom Guy slash Doom Slayer, currently on Final Doom. And I am working my way through some point-and-click adventures like Lamplight City. And there's other stuff on the channel. I'm reading through some of the writings I've done over the years. So far as I know, those are going up on Tuesdays. If there's a break in them, it means I'm either running out or taking a break from it. I am putting up runs through Mods from 2 on Thursday mornings. And I'm also working my way through some other games which appear up on a Wednesday morning. And a retrospective goes up every weekend for games I've completed. Until next time, take care. Again, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere. Have fun!